by giving adjuvant chemotherapy, we are converting the 50% of patients uh, cured already uh, with uh, good quality surgery into a 60% uh, of, uh, of those uh, patients being cured uh, by surgery and the addition of postoperative chemotherapy. It's a very relevant number. Adjuvant chemotherapy in stage 3 colon cancer is standard of care is the use of uh, a combination of two drugs, oxaliplatin and fluorouracil or uh, oral fluoropyrimidines. So then um, uh, both drugs are used. Uh, by using both drugs, we are having a significant effect over five of you only, fluorouracil only. But the issue is that we will get uh, by 11% of patients presenting with um, uh, sensitive neurological uh, toxicity uh, which is going to be severe. And uh, for this reason, uh, nowadays uh, we know that we can treat differently patients with low risk factors. So those patients having T3 and less than four lymph nodes involved in the surgical specimen, we can go only for three months of this combination of uh, fluorouracil plus um, oxaliplatin. Doing three months of treatment is providing very similar results that six months of treatment. However, there is going to be a reduced rate of those severe neurological symptoms that may appear with the use of oxaliplatin. However, for high-risk patients, those presenting T4 tumors or more, four or more uh, lymph nodes involved in the surgical specimen, uh, the current recommendations is to treat with a combination of those two drugs for six months. So low risk factors, three months of human chemotherapy uh, oxaliplatin based, uh, high risk factors, uh, six months of treatment is the recommended duration. We can use in this setting of uh, stage three colon cancer, uh, oxaliplatin in combination with uh, capecitabine, which is the most common oral um, fluoropyrimidine used in, in Western countries, uh, or we can use continuous infusion 5 uh, uh, few as uh, in the Folfox uh, uh, schedule. The most important step in improving survival we achieved with adjuvant chemotherapy was with the addition of fluoropyrimidines. Oxaliplatin is adding on the top of that, but with more important and severe toxicity. So for patients over 70, we recommend to use a fluoropyrimidine-based type of adjuvant chemotherapy. The issue of oxaliplatin could be for very healthy uh, people over 70, discussed individually with them. But in general, we recommend a combination of this drug for people younger than 70, and after 70, uh, we recommend a single agent uh, uh, fluorouracil or fluoropyrimidines for adjuvant chemotherapy. I think it's very important that uh, adjuvant chemotherapy is a must for stage three colon cancer patients because we are going to provide a very strong and significant benefit on survival. We could consider diminishing or avoiding toxicity in this group of patients. For that, I would recommend uh, reducing the duration of treatment for only three months, uh, oxaliplatin-based combination in patients with low risk factors, T3 and uh, uh, one with less than four lymph nodes. However, for those having high risk factors, that means T4 or four or more lymph nodes, we should uh, give chemotherapy in the conventional duration of six months.